He wasn't really like a very sociable creature. Um, Ghislaine was, and that's how she was sort of brought in and she would be doing the entertaining. Well, she, I mean, she was the so social one, so she was really the one that would be in charge of seating, seating, you know, putting who she wanted to put in, next to each other, who she wanted to introduce, and, um, you know, charming these men. And um, like I said, you know, the girls were kind of brought in to entertain the men and Epstein would then go into business with them. And was there a point when, when it all came out for the first time mm -hmm. and you read about these allegations and you read about the, these what we now know as crimes, did it make sense? Did it fit together with what you had seen and what you had heard? I mean, it sort of did. I, I always thought, I mean, Ghislaine's character was always very mysterious. Um, you never really knew much about, she would kind of like, she would arrive on a jet leave she was never in a place more than a couple of days so th it was definitely a lot of mystery about what she was actually up to um and what, what, what was she doing who was she meeting and what do you think of the fact that she's got this 20-year sentence do you think that is the right amount I, of time because the prosecutors yeah. were pushing for up to 50 originally weren't no, they? no of course and you know originally they were pushing for 50 but 20 years is what her lawyers actually asked for um I think it's it's fair. I, I think some of the girls, possibly the ones that are really tortured that haven't even had a voice to come out, I think they're possibly upset. They would want to see her definitely in there for life. Um, and also 20 years doesn't really mean anything. I just don't think that she's going to be alive in there long enough to live that long anyway to get out. I wanted to play you some of the, the victim statements. Could you just have a, sure. have a listen to no, this? I've, I've and, seen them. Yeah, I, sure. I, well, I think it'd be good for our viewers to watch okay. them as well. And just reflect on, on what you think now about what some of these young women have been through. Have a look. Mm -hmm. May this sentence demonstrate that it is never too late for the truth to come out and never too late for there to be accountability. I feel like the judge took into account everything that she needed to take into, into account. She took into account the severity of what Maxwell and Epstein did to us. And I think that 20 years is reasonable considering all of that. So we're happy to finally have some closure. Epstein, of course, is now obviously gone. But do you yeah. think that Maxwell appreciates the role that she played in, in what happened to these women? What do you mean she appreciates? She understands what she did. Because the, the only time she said sorry was after the sentence. And it wasn't the most open apology. But do you think right. she understands what she's done to these women's lives? No, I, yeah, absolutely. I think she does. I think at the, at the time when she was in it, you know, she probably obviously didn't realise what she was doing because she was, you know, if you're in love with someone, you do anything for them. And I think she got swept away in that and kind of lost control of really what reality was. Mm -hmm. The feeling is that the FBI will throw the net a little wider after this and some very well-known names might be caught in that. And um, there are some serious allegations against Prince Andrew, who we know that you know well, which he, we should say... Yeah, those are all he, he does deny all yeah. of those allegations. How do you see this playing out with regards to him? I mean, with... I mean, with regards to uh, Prince Andrew, I mean, the allegations that were made are all, are all completely fake. And, uh, you know, he unf unfortunately cannot talk about it because he had to sign the disclosure when they, he paid her. Why, if, if it's all fake and presumably you feel well, that he could prove that, why did he pay that? Because uh, the, the information that I got with the witness that actually took the real pictures at Kinnerton Street, that was actually... I got that information a couple of weeks after the settlement was agreed. So you so, feel, just for clarity, you yeah. feel that the, the photograph, the, the infamous a, photograph I signed, is, is I, fake? I have a signed affidavit from the person that took the photos and he's been investigated, we've fully vetted him and it's come back as everybody believes this person to be true. And just to, to clarify on that point, you think that the photo originally was Epstein where Prince Andrew is. I've seen a copy of the original and it's Epstein's head. The, the hand is a lot darker than the face. The hand is dark and the original Epstein head that I have is the same colour as the hand. Um, but I've also seen a copy of the original, which is the full Epstein head. He is not the only high profile name that may be worried no, I at mean, the moment. He, he's basically a smokescreen for these real 
these real men that are just absolutely horrific. I mean, the stuff that I've heard... With people watching you tonight thinking, why are you defending this man so vigorously? Because I, 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 I have, like, the real victims coming... Like, the, the real survivors. And why do you think these people are talking to you and they're not talking to they official trust, investigators? They trust me because I don't really need to prove anything to them. Um, I don't tell anything to the press unless they're OK with it. Is there a way back into public life for Prince Andrew? You know him well. You defended yeah, I, him I think so. Today. Look, look, there's a reason. I mean, this is, this is a thing. So all the forensics came back that the photo is fake. Hence, the Queen took him to, you know, the memorial of his father, of course, and because she knows it's fake. So why are people giving the Queen, like, a hard time? They are serious allegations, which he denies, but yeah. they're serious allegations. Of course they are, but he's always denied it because he's not guilty. And when, you know, unfortunately he had to settle, and it was the Queen, because he's such a good person, he agreed to settle for the Queen to do it. And it's just really unfortunate that he can't defend himself. So that's why I'm here right now. Does he know you're talking to us? What? <laughs> he, have you, are you in conversation with him? I mean, I can't say that right now. But I'm in touch with, you know, people in the family. Do you think other names will come out? I think so. Th there's girls, you know, th the problem is a lot of them are so terrified. I have this one girl and her mother is schizophrenic and the mother relies on her and she's scared that if she comes out with the name of her person, that they'll either kill her, try and get rid of her, and then the mother has no one to look after. So I, it's like these girls are really living in like desperate, horrific situations, not very pleasant lives, and it takes a lot of courage. You maintain that Epstein was murdered in jail before his trial. Do you think, if that's true, do you yeah. think that Maxwell is in danger now? I think he definitely was murdered, just if you really analyse what his body looked like. Um, I think Galen, I think, yes, absolutely. Like, she is in huge danger. Because of what she knows? Yes. Because she's never going to give names. You don't think she'll ever speak to the FBI about what she does know? I don't think so, because you have... M most of the FBI is corrupt. I mean, you know, this is the problem. This is why Andrew, as well, could never have gone to court in, in America. It's, it's so rigged, the system. The whole system is... Um, it's just one big cover-up. And when it's a cover-up that high up, it's very hard to know who to trust. She could go and tell somebody from the FBI and that guy could get her killed. Can I ask you this? Because it's been fascinating yeah. listening to you. And there'll be people watching this tonight who are right. thinking, OK, you've said the, the FBI is corrupt. You've talked about they the... They are. The, well, I'm, let, me, <laughs> let, me put, let me finish the question. Know, you've talked about the, the murder of Epstein. You've talked about how well you knew Maxwell. You've said that Prince Andrew is completely innocent. Yeah. There'll be people watching this who will think you are buying into a, a conspiracy theory. No, I'm actually... In t I'm, I'm actually, like... I'm not... It's not a conspiracy. Like, I have facts. You talked about, you know, some pretty powerful people who you think are involved in, in some of these crimes. Mm -hmm. are, are you worried about taking part in interviews like this? Um, well, I haven't given you any names, have I, so... So, no concern from your end? I'm OK. OK, I know well... how to shoot a gun. Right. Well, we hope it never comes to that, but... No. Thank you very much for coming in and talking to us. Good to Appreciate see you. your time. Thank you. All right. Thank you.